All right, everybody, here's today's yams. Oops. <laughs> We've got double wet food and extra soup of dry food, or a scoop of dry food, excuse me, because I'm not here tomorrow. And they are digging in. And then, of course, you've got Mr. Quiet. <laughs> There's baby Ruth. Hi, pretty girl. Shakily, I'm gonna let me pet you. Hi, pretty girl. So soft. They're all getting their winter coats in. Feeling a little more floofy. Especially this big guy. He is the floofiest of all. He says, you stood up, so I ran away. <laughs> A shy boy. That's okay. I really need to get serious about finding homes for them soon, at least for baby Ruth. For a number of reasons. I wish I could just take her home. Could you come home with me? Feel nice? That's really big progress, honestly, that she lets me pet her and then she notices me leaning in closer and doesn't run away. I've been taking care of him for almost two years. And it's just really nice to see how far we've come. I used to have to stand like 10 feet away for even Corbin to come up. Now when I'm going to my car to get the cat food, baby Ruth will come all the way, almost all the way up to me, even if people are there. I had a coworker a couple days ago and he was squatting down going, you know, and she just walked right past him <laughs> looking for food. Um, I was planning on building them a second outdoor shelter, but, uh, those plans have been put on hold again for a couple of different reasons. I might still get around to it, we'll see. Okay, well I want to make sure that big boy gets a chance to get some food, so I'm going to head out. Stay safe over the weekend, babies. Bye bye, kitties.